Happy Monday Knitters, it's Louise from Wildflower Wool and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're here, welcome. Um, every Monday, I'm going to try to do a video to show you what I am working on from my stash. New Start Mondays. I have a well curated stash and this year, 2020, is the year that hopefully I can work through a good chunk of this yarn. I've got a few projects here that I worked on over the weekend. First one, month of January for Wildflower Wool. If you follow me on Instagram or over on Facebook, every month for the year, we're gonna have a different topic, a different technique that I'm gonna be showing you, talking about, and giving you some little tips and tricks about. And January is all about brioche. So I, I started off the new year being sick. So I really haven't done a whole lot of knitting yet. So this is, what have we, this we're almost a full week into January. And I just cast on last, last couple of days and a brioche dishcloth was what I picked. I've got some cotton that I'm gonna work through. This is Dishy. It is Knit Picks Dishy. And the colorway is Ash. There you go. And I've used about half the ball. I haven't weighed it, but you can tell the center is getting squishy. And I did a one color brioche dishcloth. Will this work really well for a dishcloth? I am not so sure. With brioche, you always have to go down a, needle, a few needle sizes because the stitches are really wide and the fabric is really stretchy. This is a worsted weight yarn and I went down to a 3.5 millimeter. I'm not sure what that is. Actually, I have the needle here. What is that? That's a US four. I think it's a US four. So I went down and I used really small skinny needles, but it's still pretty stretchy. So I don't know, I have a feeling if I was to get this wet, actually use it as a dishcloth, it might really, really grow. But anyways, I'm gonna say <laughs> one and done. This is done. I'm also going to start counting my dishcloths. Do you guys follow the yarn hoarder, Amber, on Instagram and her podcast? And I think this is probably going to be the third year that she has done a dishcloth challenge. The challenge is to do one dishcloth a week. So you end up with 52 at the end of the year. Perfect for gift giving. So I'm going to call this number one. I may just keep this one for myself because I'm not so sure the stretch if it's going to be real functional or not, but we're gonna say it's done. And I'm gonna carry on. So, and I cast on this one. So another dishcloth, I'm going to try, I don't know if I'll get, I think there's more in here. Um, Dishy has a great amount of yardage, so I don't think I'm gonna get this all knit up into one dishcloth. I'll probably get even like a third dishcloth out of here. But what I've started here, this is two colors. My other ball's on the floor, but it's Bernat Handicrafter. I've got some orange and white variegated left over from some Halloween, Halloween dishcloths that I did. And it's called Poppy. Hold on. Let me grab the ball and I'll show it to you. Just so you can see. Its colorway is Poppy, which is kind of odd because when I think of Poppy, I think of red. But I guess there are poppies that are orange too. So I guess that's where they're getting the name from. But anyways, I'm combining these two. And what the stitch pattern is what I call two-handed fair isle garter stitch. So it makes a really soft, squishy fabric. And the color play is really kind of cool. Alternating colors. I'm doing an ash, a poppy, an ash, a poppy, and then I reverse them on the next row. And it actually makes such a dense fabric that they work quite well as pot holders too. I'm doing this again on a really small needle because I like my dishcloths to be tight so that when you do use them in water, they don't stretch all to pieces, right? So this, I think, I think oh, this might be a, a 3.75 millimeter. So anyways, so this was another start that I did um, last night on Sunday. And I did another one because 
<laughs> I am making up for lost time. And again, more stash yarn and more brioche. One color brioche. One color, even though I'm using a variegated yarn. And this is going to be just a really long, skinny scarf, all done in one color brioche that's going to be able to double around and just be nice and cozy. And it's actually snowed this weekend, so I'm going to actually be able to wear some hand knits. So this, again, is just for my stash, patent, or pens. I have a little addiction to patents yarn. This is not patents. This is Karen. Karen Cakes, it is, I think this one is 100% acrylic. Oh, actually, no, I don't think it is. Wait, let's read the ball band, okay? Um, Karen Cakes, I think, has a little bit of wool in it. Yes, it does. 80, 80 acrylic, 20 wool. And this colorway is Cherry Chip. So that is what I'm working on. Um, these are my new starts. What I also want to work on, um, brioche is a topic on Wildflower World's social media channels for this month in January. We're going to start out with one color brioche. We're going to work into two color in the round, um, and some simple increasing and decreasing. So stay tuned for some tips on that. But in between there, one of my goals, I don't want to say resolutions, even though it's January, I don't want, yeah, resolutions, that just sounds, I don't know, like something that I can never keep. <laughs> so I'm going to say one of my goals is, I mean, along with stash knitting and the monthly techniques, is I want to have a sweater on the needles all the time. And this, I've lost my ball band. This is a big ball of marble. It's 100% acrylic. I bought a few balls of this to make my daughter a sweater many, many years ago, and it never happened. So I'm going to make a sweater probably for myself um, because I don't think, I think the reason I never really did start this was because she didn't like the color. She wanted black and I couldn't find black. They had this blue, which was her favorite color, and I thought maybe she'd like it, and she said no. So maybe Anita, you may miss it on the sweater because I may actually get this finished. <laughs> I am going to get this finished. I am going to finish this sweater and we'll see. Maybe she and I will fight over who gets to wear it. Anyways, I think this is going to be a pullover. Um, bottom up with raglan sleeves. Kind of simple because I want it to be a quick knit because I am working through my stash. So anyways, that is what I have got started for this week. So um Leave me some comments below. What have you started this week? Do you have any goals for the new year? And follow me on Instagram and Facebook as Wildflower Wool and show me what you, your new starts are for this week. See you next week. Bye for now.